Back to Wise Men Company, everybody. Ben here again. A lot of you had been asking for a Glock 45 update, and it's not so much as a reliability update because that would be very boring and very short. This gun has been very reliable. I've run it through classes. I shoot it all the time. I obviously carry it. It's been great. So reliability. Let's set that aside. It's been awesome. This is more an up, more of an update on what I've done to this and how I've liked it since updating this Glock 45. Running the dot on here, no backup irons. I think that's the best place to start with this update because I get a lot of questions about that. The fact that I have no backup irons on here, is that living dangerously? Or are you just really committed to the dot life? And I am committed to the dot life, but I don't think it's living dangerously. Uh, the backup irons on here, I've broken regular irons before, just as, it's just as easily easy to break irons as it is a dot, maybe even more easy these days. But uh, the irons on here were clouding my window. I didn't like shooting over top of them and having them kind of obstructing this already tiny window. So I got rid of them. This RMR on here, this is an RMO7. I think it's the 6.5 MOA dot with adjustability. It has been great. No reliability issues with this dot. Every time I've pulled it out, it's been on, it's been ready to go. It is a part of my routine in the morning to make sure it's on at a good brightness setting, and then I holster it. It just has become part of my ready checklist just as much as a press check has. So I make sure that dot's on, it's ready to go, I holster it, I go about my day. So it's been reliable, it has worked. I had one little hiccup where the brightness setting was changing on its own. It wasn't off. It would just change on its own. And that's because I switched the battery and I didn't need to switch the battery. I was just doing it as kind of a maintenance thing. But when I did that, that's when I noticed that the dot started to change brightnesses on its own. And the reason was because a lot of the batteries that go in these micro red dots aren't all to the same spec. Some are a little bigger, some are a little smaller. They're not all the same dimension. Now, the internet has told me that Duracell batteries work the best with RMRs. They make the best fit, the best connection, and you won't run into issues with dots flickering on and off. And I'd have to say that's true because the battery I pulled out of here was a Duracell and I put in another brand and I forget what that was. But when I switched to that other brand battery, I started to get connection issues. So to fix that, I just put down a duct tape shim underneath the dot, put my dot back on it, the RMR back on top, confirmed zero and it stopped doing that. So that little shim underneath here just was enough pressure to make sure that battery was staying up inside the dot and gave it a good connection. So that was the only really hiccup I had. The dot didn't go out. I could just tell it was changing brightness setting. So, so far so great. I have used this gun a lot. I've run it through classes and heavy round count classes. I shoot it almost every weekend. I think it's important to train with your EEC gun and it's pretty banged up, it's pretty beat up, it's been awesome. So that's kind of the update on the no backup irons, RMR only situation. So far so good, of course, this is going to be a continued process of evaluating, is this really worthwhile, is it working? So far it is. So as we move lower, you're gonna see my grip. This is the first gun I never retextured. I didn't, did not get it stippled. I simply used a set of $17 Talon grips and they worked great. It's the skateboard tape style and uh, the tons of grip, really grippy, but these wear out. Um, as you can see, these grips are all banged up. A lot of the main points where you, your grip comes in contact with the gun have worn out. So I'm forced to make a decision here soon. Do I just buy another $17 Talon grip set or do I send this out to get retextured? And I'm probably gonna get it retextured uh, I'm just sick and tired of sending guns out to get that done. It's time consuming, obviously it costs money, um, but it is the best option if you want good grip on your frame. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's the update on the frame. It's gonna get sent out to get retextured. I'm begrudgingly doing that, but that's what's gonna happen. Final thing to note is the trigger inside of this Glock 45. It's a stock trigger, but the more I shoot this gun, the better this trigger gets. It feels amazing. I wouldn't change anything about it. It's really smooth now. 
Uh, it's still probably around five and a half pounds. I don't think the weight has changed, but it's just really, really clean. And uh, I think that's just because of me shooting this gun a ton. So I'm really happy with the trigger in these Gen 5s. Uh, I think they clean up really nice the more you use your gun. And then some of the little things, obviously this gun has wear on it. The Cerakote is wearing off in some of the corners, some of the hot spots. Not a big deal. I think it makes it look cool, gives it some character. Stuff like that's going to wear out. Will I get it recoded anytime soon? No, probably not. The coating on this was done by JTAC Industries as well as the RMR cut. And this is a Nevesky Bazooka Green. Everyone always asks, so that's why I'm telling you again. Nevesky Bazooka Green is the color. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to just keep running this gun as much as I can. It's my daily driver. I do not like to switch EDC guns a lot, and I hardly ever do, because I'm one of those guys that once I start shooting another gun, I can't quickly transition to a different gun and have the same proficiency. Uh, there's something to be said about the samurai with the one sword, that quote that everyone uses. The more I use one gun, the better I get with it, and the, those skills don't transfer to a different style handgun or a different frame handgun very well for me. So I don't like switching a lot. I'm gonna continue to run this. I have run this in winter and in summer. It's been great. So that's kind of my Glock 45 update. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I'll get to them as best I can. And uh, there'll probably be another update in the next six months or so. So stay tuned for that. Guys, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for supporting Wise Men Company. We really do appreciate it. My name's Ben. We'll see you on the next video.